I just got my new car a couple weeks ago. It's an electric car, it's a Fisker, and I have literally, literally been waiting four years for it. I put a deposit down four years ago when the company first started, and finally the car shipped. And so I have a spot across the street where I plug it in, underneath in the parking garage. The people here at the garage, the people that own the building, are, um, I think, avid, in, you know, avid environmentalists. They they do a lot uh, with their charity work and whatnot. And so I just kind of, out of luck, uh, live across the street from me. And so they reserved a spot where I can plug in uh, temporarily with the normal plug-in, and then they're installing a, a 220 volt plug for faster charge. I don't need gas, <laughs> so it's pretty uh, pretty Only great. For emergency. Uh, it has a gas motor for for backup, like uh, if I if I run out of uh, battery. But uh, yeah, this is uh, it's pretty simple stuff. So plug it in on a full charge. Uh, I get about 40 or 50 miles on pure electric. Um, if you want to go on a longer trips or you know you have more to do during the day, uh, you can go into a gas mode as well, which the gas engine will power the battery to give you extended range. So you're never stranded. You know you're never stuck somewhere and needing an outlet to plug in. Even the paint is is water-based, uh, non-toxic paint, and the solar panel on the roof um, uh, gathers energy, which will over the course of a year give me another 200 miles. Um, the, the interior is all uh, animal free, eco suede. I think the, the cushioning inside the, the, the seats is all non toxic. Uh, I mean, everything right down to the wood paneling, which was rescued from wildfires in California. I mean, it's, it's over the top stuff, but uh, I knew the outlook of the company was awesome, so I had to have it. <laughs> it, was, it was one of those things, and I'm not even a car guy, but it's one of those things that uh, uh, just got stuck in my head technology at its best. Here you go.